Last summer, after a week-long trial, a district court judge in Helena ruled in favor of 16 young plaintiffs who said the state of Montana's handling of greenhouse gas emissions was harming their right to a clean and healthful environment. It's a ruling the state quickly appealed, and that appeal is set to go before justices of the Montana Supreme Court in the coming months. Supporters of the Held v. Montana ruling called it a landmark, connecting the state's energy policies to climate change and establishing a precedent for future cases. But attorneys for the state said in their appeal brief that the case should never have reached trial because what the plaintiffs were asking for wouldn't resolve the harms they were alleging. The extensive interest in the case can be seen in the number of amicus briefs, filings from groups or individuals who aren't directly involved in the case, but ask the court to consider their views. As of Friday, the court had received or was scheduled to receive nine amicus briefs. Supreme Court Clerk Bowen Greenwood told MTN that's an unusually high number. The filings include the leaders of the Montana House and Senate, who said the judge's decision overstepped the legislature's authority to make environmental law, business groups who said it would delay needed investment in Montana, and Republican attorneys general from other states who said the order encouraged Montana to interfere with energy policy outside its borders. The plaintiffs will have until next month to respond to the state's latest filings. After that, the state will have one more opportunity to reply before the case goes to the Supreme Court justices. And at that point, it's up to them when they want to make their ruling. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News.